Good afternoon guys, it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a very different um, video. I haven't done a charity shop haul video for um, ages now. I love watching other people's because I just love a bargain, if even it's not mine. Um, but I will actually probably over the holiday season um, do a little, um, some videos of some of the really interesting books I've found over the last few months for my stash. But today, um, I think it was a couple of days ago, I had a family running around day. My son had to go to the orthodontist, um, grand, uh, grandparents, uh, in-laws had to get shopping, etc., etc. I had a little gap in my uh, window about half an hour um, after I dropped my son back at college and I went to the charity shops in a local town and really, really, really am excited about what I found. So I'll go into it. I'll just stop rabbiting and I'll go on. Um, I'll start. Sorry about the big plaster. Uh, in fact, I might just take it off, actually. It's, um, I sort of, my fingers get very dry and I sort of cut. If you see, I've got a cut on my thumb. Anyway, um, all right. So first, the first things that I want to show you is just a couple of things that I'm going to add to my journals. Um, so this was, I think, was it 50p? Um, and it caught my eye. It was the picture that caught my eye. But it's an address book of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And it's going to be really useful just for um, little pictures. I mean, look at that. I don't know if you can see without the glare. They are absolutely beautiful. It's not been used. So um, the illustrations for um, journaling cards or pockets or just, you know, if they're on both sides of the pictures, I might just um, pop them in to journals, into pockets, just because they're lovely. Um, so that was the first thing that I got. That was on the back of that. Want that to pop in. Let me see what's on the back. How beautiful is that? Now, just to warn you that the camera are kind of propped up. It's quite high. I think I'm still in frame, so I can try and get most of these things in. But as usual, there's a strong possibility that it might, might get toppled over. Well, that's quite pretty, isn't it? That could go into the the Jane Austen little sections that I'm doing now for my custom order and sister companions. Right. So anyway, that's a really quick flip of that one. So I've got picked that up. Also picked another copy of this up. The uh, I've got two or three. Uh, Tracy Fox has been doing some really interesting bits and pieces. Uh, little pockets and things and cards with these so um, I thought I'd pick up another one might do a couple of bits if I can for Etsy I'll just take them to bits and share them this one and um, I've seen different people do things with planners and things I'm not sure um, but I liked it and it was I think it was a pound or 150 um, but I just, I love this, I love it, I don't know if I do, people do ring binder things, I, I haven't tried that yet, it was a pound, but it's got lots of um, pages for notes I liked, um, as well as um, illustrations, so I thought, I mean that's really nice, got a little pocket, that could be useful for deconstructing and uh, popping in to different journals, always love a botanical, if you can see that, just at the bottom there, so there's that. So I picked that up and I thought I'm quite pleased with that. As you can see. And then I just picked up this. It looks like um it's fabric. It's a pound. It looks a bit grotty, but inside it just has these. It's have not been really well used and they tear off in the middle. But I just I love the colour. And what's nice is it's both sides, it's not like glaring white on the other side, so it needs to be tea dyed. 
So that's really going to be useful. Um, I think that'd be useful for this upcoming traveller's notebook collection so those those were a pound and um, in my other th traveller's uh, journals I've just done for December I found one of these uh, actually this is lovely isn't it it's a stamp collector's book uh, junior stamp album but it's empty look at that, look at that paper Oh, my word. But I just love the papers in them. I don't know if you can see. If that's a bit too bright, is it? That's just the paper. Um, and I just think, to go straight into a, a journal, those are they're going to make lovely pages. You can see the little grid. It's like a little grid. You've got a little postage stamp thing on the top. Just quite plain, but easily, easily used. So, so, the thing. This is the thing. I went into one and I just picked up a couple of books because I have been selling some on Amazon. Um, books that aren't good for journaling, but just such good value that I can't leave behind. And I found a book, um, just as an aside. Oh, if I can find it. It's not my normal charity shop I went to. This one was one where it actually, you, they ask a bit more money. But I found a book on um, honey. Being nature's golden healer. And I thought that'd be, re it's a lovely book, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, well, it piqued my interest. So I thought I'd buy that and pop it. I think I paid two pounds for that, which is a lot for me, but I'm gonna pop it on Amazon. Um, anyway, and as I was walking out, I saw these two boxes. One was open, uh, probably wasn't that one, was it? And I just thought, oh, I'll have a quick look, a little mooch. And I could not believe my eyes when I f saw um yeah so that's uh, it's called the nostalgia postcard collectors club the user's guide introduction to postcard collecting so obviously it i don't know how all these these aren't i don't think they're vintage i don't think they're vintage are they uh anyway so they've got these two boxes so somebody has started collecting these well started they've got the whole collection and i managed to pick up i kind of looked quite a little little mooch i haven't opened them yet i thought i'd turn the camera on and open them with you guys um so so i'm just still doing my happy dance my sandals are almost worn out i must admit because i'm dancing so much so it says country life uh, entertainment family life fashion glamour leisure let's have a quick look then we have on this side if you can see i'll pop that on there on this side we have seaside news personalities sport transport war mm, work right let's have a little looky shall we and see but to say that i was excited is an understatement not gonna lie so for instance that's the Oh my word, just a thank you. I oh, thank you for letter. I'm glad to say I'm out again and better. Oh, oh, oh my word. Oh, oh dear. Oh. So this is just the very first section under, oh, art and design. Uh, I think I'm going to have to do two videos, actually, guys, to be honest. I'm going to stop this one and uh, up 15 minutes and go through. Go through. Oh, I'm just so excited. So these are obviously are reprints. They're all reprints. And it gives you an idea of when they're from. So the information's on the back. Oh, wow. So these will be... Um, what I'll probably do, I think they're going to be really great for ephemera uh, and just for collections in general. So this is just the first section, guys. And I thought also, um, just as a thank you for um, the support I've had, even before um, I opened my Etsy store, um, for those uh, very kind um, ladies who have purchased some of my work, um, I might just uh, sort some out, maybe a little pack of 12 as a thank you and pop them in the post to you. 
and I think I might actually guys um, I need to have some time so I, these are more than I would ever use in a lifetime um, I will probably do little sets of 12 on my Etsy I think this is I love this I love this kind of artwork I really really do that looks like London yes I know that I know that building I know that building off the A40 is it off the A40 near Greenford if I remember rightly so that's from 1815 ah <gasps> Sanderson's wallpapers can you see that Oh, I love that. Very Poirot, isn't it? Oh, I just so I get so excited. So this is just the very, very first. Shepherd's Bush. Oh my word, Shepherd's Bush Empire. Where's that from? 1933 this poster <gasps> Oxford oh fabulous that's gonna have to go in to my um I'll pop that aside for my here and there this and that out and about so there will be a few of these in my next collection that I'm working on as we speak oh look at the old kitchen oh my word oh my word oh I've got a picnic and uh, sandwiches and flask little section in my journal. That's going aside for that right now. Ideal home, January 1939. Oh, well, 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 well. Um, so that's the first section. And I've got the two boxes for under £10. Um... Art and was that art and design? Is this, is this country life? I don't know how it's. Oh, this is still art and design. Adverts, ads. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. I do remember spangles. I do remember these. Is it worth me? Is it worth me? Zooming in a little bit for this bit, guys. That is beautiful. Afternoon tea, isn't it? Hyde Park Hotel. That's from a set of 14. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's in York. Okay, that's going to go into my journal that's from York as well oh wow from the 50s this was from the 50s I think my mum and dad first came over here colour bar 94 the rise of the presence of immigrants from rise racial tensions 1958 yeah oh So I will, you know what I'm going to do guys, um, I'll probably, oh I like that, that is going into my January, that's going to my day book for January, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, for um, all things snowy. Profits return to purchases, oh the first co-op, oh how lovely. So guys, we're coming up to 15 minutes. Um, what I'm going to have to do, because um, I can't be doing with messing about with um, with trying, if it's spending 12 hours to upload a, a video. I'll upload this one and then I'll come back in and I'll share some, oh my word, let's move it on. <laughs> I'll share some more with you. Okay, take care guys. Take care, bye, bye.